Hello folks, this has gone Spy, the Spy, and we'll come to you live for Mass Effect 1, the remaster. Now, um, hold on a second. Forgot to do this before going on. Now, um, after cutting through these insect bugs and taking the scraps to the gaff, putting them in the junkyard, we managed to be able to repair the landlines and the and the um the main reactor. So as of this moment, we've managed to fix the damage that's been done to Peak 15. Now we're on the roof. This area on the different side of peak 15 of this station known as the Rift Station. Basically, it's where the is where people, the officials, or the staff uh, are to get together and where scientists do their where scientists could be able to uh, like relax and before they go down to their labs. So hopefully, this hot labs we've been hearing about from this. Virtual Intelligence Mirror, it's somewhere in this area, so gotta be ready for anything. Oh, before we go anywhere, we need to do a little level up. Master Unity. Get ready to lock and load. The hot laps. And it seems to me that the door, the elevator, is offline. Let's see where this goes. <coughs> uh, sorry. Oh, jeez. Whoa! I didn't think that there would be any survivors on the station according to Mira. Same. Put away your weapons. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. So these monster wait, can they run the tram? These bug things? Those things work at trains controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. I'd like to know who you are. He's Commander John Shepard of the Alliance Navy. Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. My crew came up from Hanshin. Didn't figure you space jockeys liked getting mud on your boots. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. First, we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. Yeah, we heard from Mira. Well, from the looks, from the looks of the image in front of us, you did very well. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an assignment to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday, and we haven't heard from her since. It's Benezia. We need to talk to her. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. 
Thank you. Right, if you need me first day, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I'd like some questions to be answered. What's what happened to this facility? Tell me about Rift Tell Station. Tell us about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Well, to begin with, how secure are you? Is this really the best uh, defense you got? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't vote from corners. But yet you survived somehow. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine lab. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What do they do here? What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. Very well. I want to know more about these bug aliens that's been running around in this facility. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. It's the only Volus left in here. A Volus, huh? Maybe we we'll should get to have a conversation with him. So what's down in the hot labs? Is the SRE still there? I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the bugs came from the lab? Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. Amen to that. So what's the facility like? Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable. If something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Perfectly. What was Benicia doing here? Did she tell any of you of her intentions of being in the hot labs? You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs. And she hasn't come back here. You came to a central station, so she ain't there. Yeah. How many of the personnel that you have here in the Rift Station? How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. We made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I understand. I would like to see more of your base of operations. If you don't mind, maybe we should talk to Dr. Onar. See if he can tell us more about what we're dealing with. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. What the? What's Hell, wrong? Man the perimeter! Behind us! Warm. Uh, that was close. They've been popping up uh, from those uh, from those ceiling vents, and it's really becoming annoyingsome. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. It's no problem. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. An animal should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. It's surprising that there are still survivors here. Hmm. Probably not get too paranoid until we need to until we learn more about what's going on here. These are all that's left. Huh. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. You're not gonna go to the hot labs, are you? 
<sighs> Description skill is still too low. Huh. An Alcor? Didn't expect to find one here. Uncertainty. I welcome you. Cautiously. I am curious to know what you're doing here. We just came here to help however we can. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively. I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. I can't believe you're actually running a store. This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Farewell. Show us what you got. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. I understand that. Wouldn't be surprised if he hadn't. Another sorry. Um, what do you do here? Uh, what's your job? You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you study? What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Yeah, that sounds a little bit nerdy. Uh, that's over the top of my head. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. Okay, that's a little bit better. You seemed calm than how I'm seeing some of the personnel people here. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Uh-huh. Can we ask you some personal questions, Miss... Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ayalis from the University of Arrakis. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Um, uh, apologies. Um, Alestia, Lias, is it? Did I interrupt something? Yeah, you I seem to be. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Okay. Um. She is really starting to grind my gears. Um, you are in a sorry, right? Maybe you may have a company, Vanessa. Can you tell us what she was doing here? Has she about her intentions about why she wanted to go to the hot labs? Do you know Matriarch? <coughs> why ask me and not your friend? Uh, Matriarch Ayalis is my friend. Okay, it's clear that you are not in a social mood, and I really don't have time of having to put up with this. Um, goodbye, Miss Alistia. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Quarantine? Medical bay. Definitely need to go in there first. These are all that's left uh, of the uh, injures. What, what, what 
if you want. Apologies, we didn't mean to disturb you. I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. Are these people sick? What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. Maybe we could help you? But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? Yep. She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. Yeah, we just fixed her, the landlines, and the main reactor. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? Yep. I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. We're going to need more to help. I understand your caution, but I need details. But you say it won't go beyond these walls. Indeed. It's a bio-weapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no the profit price. in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Forest B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another. Like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries. Governments. They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another. And they'll limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Damn right we can't. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. And they I don't, don't always end well? Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. But is it dangerous in there? Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. Maybe we can help. We can be very persuasive. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How can we help these people? What will it take to get the cure for these people? Quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Okay. We then we just need to talk to the captain about it. Is this the le where is the rest of your team? How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralos' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. They've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Hmm. So what do you do here? What's your job? Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. Okay. My is microbiology, not first aid. An average doctor, then? We had a medic, Dr. Sala, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira loves them. Very well. We'll talk to the captain about this. Goodbye, doctor. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. We need the first aid kicked. Think you could run that equipment for us? Certainly, Commander. One moment, please. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. I didn't think you would be able to be transferred or appear over here, Mira. What are you doing over here? I administrate the systems of all of the various P-15 facilities. So what's going on with the six scientists? What's wrong with these people? Accessing logs. They were in the midst of an experiment when the shutdown began. When you were taken offline. Without my program to administrate containment procedures, a quarantine breach occurred. Okay then, let's talk about a cure. Is it possible to make one for these people? What treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. Okay, another more reason that we need to go to the quarantine, and another more reason that we talk to the captain. Logging out. We don't need anything right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Smoke. 
<laughs> Sorry, man, but I don't do smoke, and I don't have any cigarettes for you, so sorry. A solarium. So, what can you tell us about this lab? What, what sort, sort of work? I can't say. I signed a non disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. But you don't like it here from the sound of it? You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. What's going on in the hot labs? What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Where can we find him? We need to speak with him. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I see. Can we ask you some personal questions? What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. I understand. There was a Sari that came by here hours ago, just before the shutdown. She is a matriarch, Matriarch Benesia. Do you know about the why she wants to go into the hot labs? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Rialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benesia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. Yeah, we already spoke to him about that. Can you tell us about the situation here? How are you all? Yeah, I can see that. Goodbye then, Doctor Pelion. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Well, it just about sums it up. Some uh, traumatized uh, staff and nervous people, and some of them are a little bit shifty. Well. Let's talk to the captain about making sure getting that cure. Something you need? We need to help Dr. Cohen with six uh, patients. I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. Oh God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. You don't have to risk it. You just need to let us risk it. We'll take care of it. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. That's fair enough. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. No problem. I've got work to do. You and me both. Alright, let's inform the doctor that we got clearance. To you later. I hope you can do something. Well, we got the clearance, so now we can go to the quarantines.
Mm. An alarm. Bugs. Do you know what they are? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. We heard. If there's anything that you know about these aliens, you have got to tell us. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni. What did you say? Rachni? That's preposterous. Impossible, more likely. That's an instinct species? <laughs> The Rachni are a species that uh, are not people that have wiped out during the Rachni Wars. There weren't even supposed to be a single thing left on this uh, galaxy. How'd they even get here? Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you wanna get us killed? Don't interrupt a man. Tell us more about the Rachni. Finish what you're about to say. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. From what I've been seeing so far, I can 100% uh, agree with that statement. How did you survive from uh, the hot labs? I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make <coughs> on you, uh, we were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram, and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, and they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. If you help us... You could be able to redeem yourself by helping us to solve this problem. We can end this. Just help us beat them. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. I see. An Asari came by here hours before the shutdown. A matriarch. Her name is Benesia. Do you think she's still in the hot labs? Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. But the specimens were sensitive to biotics. Hmm. Thank you. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. This changes everything about the situation now. Which you would explain about the creatures. If what the if what the Vola says is true, then no. Where the situation is dire than ever. All right, folks, going to put stopped here to add the these messages. So this has gone spy. The spy sign off for now.